a normal pulsar that comes from a supernova will tend to last somewhere between 10 and 100 million years. Well, if you think about it, our universe is more than 10 billion years old, so if something lasts 10 to 100 million years, that's just a very short amount of time. But what happens is if that neutron star has a companion star, a star like our sun, for instance, eventually that star will continue to evolve. It burns fuel in, inside in, with a nuclear fusion. As it turns into a red giant, it transfers material in, in, the, in the form of a disk onto the neutron star. And that transfer of material also transfers angular momentum, which means that you spin that star, the neutron star, faster and faster. And it also makes the magnetic field a lot less strong. It kind of buries in some way that we don't fully understand part of that magnetic field. So you end up getting a neutron star that spins very rapidly up to the fastest one that we know, uh, which we actually found with the Green Meg Telescope, is spinning, spinning 716 times per second. So hundreds of times per second. That's faster than a kitchen blender spins. Um, and then these things then can last forever because once you spin them that fast with a much smaller magnetic field, they'll last for billions of years rather than just tens of millions of years. And so once you create these things, once you recycle these neutron stars, uh, they can last forever basically. And so we can see them then throughout the galaxy.